UC has a chance to earn a split with the defending champion UConn Huskies tomorrow night at fifth third. Cats on a good roll since losing at UConn earlier this month. Three in a row for Larry Davis and the guys. During their first meeting in Connecticut, the Cats had the lead late in the first half thanks to 14 points from Troy Copain. But Ryan Boatwright got hot, led UConn to the win. These teams played three times last year, including in Memphis at the conference tournament when UConn's run at the NCAA title was just beginning. So Larry Davis knows how they evolved. Last year, early in the year, UConn was a steal the ball from your team. They tried to pressure you, they tried to steal every pass, and when they got really good late in the season, Kevin Ali, to his credit, made a change defensively about midseason, and they, they really started being a help side, load the box, don't let you get to the rim, you know, make you shoot all jump shots team, and it took them to the national championship. Tip off tomorrow at 8. Hoosiers were on such a good roll until they rolled into Columbus over the weekend and lost by 12 to the Buckeyes. Tonight, though, a chance to bounce back against Purdue and get within a half game of the Big Ten leader, Wisconsin. These are the road wins IU needs as we begin to talk about NCAA tournament seeding already. 13 points spread, early going. Ball comes to Yogi Ferral with the Hoosiers down and Farrell hits from three. Makes it a 10 point game. It's a nine point game now. Here's Scott, beats the halftime buzzer, 46-27. IU was trailing in the second half, Purdue. Second half, Hoosiers down 12. Troy Williams, the steal. Here we go the other way, and that'll make it a 10-point game, IU trailing. But the Hoosiers couldn't close the gap. 17-point spread, Raphael Davis from deep. 20-point Purdue lead, 83-67 the final. Purdue gets the better of their in-state rival. It was a seinfeld theme night at the bank tonight as the Clones welcomed Elmira to town. Maybe it was done in honor of the Patriots, because with each excuse, the Pats seem to be subscribing to the George Costanza theory of dishonesty. It's not a lie if you believe it. Winner of tonight's game got a water. Bowl. Good crowd on a Wednesday night at the bank early on. Puck into the clone zone. Soft shot on goal. Gloved by Sam Britton. Soon after, these two had a little airing of the grievances. So, clones now in the Elmira zone. Golden opportunity for the clones here in front of the Jackals net. Didn't quite work out. Clones again on the attack in the Elmira zone. And this shot clubbed by Travis Fulton. Elmira would go on to score two in the third to pull away for a 4-2 win over the Clones tonight. And a new head coach for LaSalle, it's Jim Hilbert, who's leaving the head job at Thomas More College to take over the D2 champs.